Hello everyone, A.L. Levy here, and I am going to unbox Face Everything and Rise by Papa Roach, which was originally mixed on Nail the Mix all the way back in November 2016 by none other than the great Kane Churko. Let's take a look at what we've got. As in Churko fashion, it's a pretty big session, lots of files, lots of tracks, lots to dig into, and... As always, no plugins. So I'm just going to play this so you can hear what it sounds like with nothing, and then we'll dig in. Starting with the drums, it just uh, looks to me like a uh, like a simple setup. Kick in, sub kick, snare, top and bottom, two toms, hat, stereo overheads, um, a mono overhead, and a room. Boom. And that's really all you need. It's just very well played, hard hitting drums that everything you need to work with is there. All right, let's just listen to some individual tracks. Got this kick. Uh, all really comes to life when you enable the stereo overhead. Not quite sure what the overhead mono is supposed to be for. Let's listen to it by itself. Sounds like you can just kind of get a little bit more explosiveness out of the cymbals or something. Sounds like a good medium room. Toms are not cut, but there's not that many tom hits to begin with, so yeah, it's not a huge task. Now, let it just be said for full disclosure that I know that the Churcos, Kevin and Kane, use their own proprietary homemade samples that they don't share. Um, so in the real mix of this, there are some samples that it's just proprietary to their sound and they're right not to share it and make your own. Uh, but just wanted you guys to know that. Um, however, in the Nail the Mix session, Kane does use them and he does talk about what they're for and it's actually very very interesting like there's uh electronic kicks like hip-hop sounding kicks like a huge blend of samples that you wouldn't really think all go together to make this just huge explosive radio rock hit song so there's your drums let's see what we got with bass just one DI. Solidly played. Everything you need is right there. Sounds to me like this bass player is not about being the star of the show, but he's about fulfilling that low-end job of a hard rock metal bass player. Um, whereas if you took it away, 
everything would sound weak and fall apart, but when it's there, it's the thunder. So your job is to bring that thunder through that bass without making it poke out too much because it's not a lead instrument. So we've got two rhythm guitars, main guitar and main guitar two. They're in stereo. Let's see what's going on. So it sounds like main guitar has a little bit more mid information, may, maybe slightly lower gain, whereas main guitar two uh, is more scooped, more of that metal sound. So you just find a good blend of those. Now I'm not sure if this is two performances or four performances. Um, it sounds to me like it's two performances, a left and a right guitar going through two different sets of amps just because it's that damn tight. And hey, if you want to make your own, actually... <laughs> I just said all that, and I'm totally wrong. It looks like there's four, four DIs, so four rhythms played super fucking tight. God, that's really tight for four guitars. Wow. Good job, everybody. Here are the DIs if you want to make your own sounds. Here's something called Guitar Ref Bounce, I think. PNC is for bounce. Let's see what that is. Love that kind of stuff. I love the way it follows the riff. That's so cool. So simple, yet such good note choice. This is a perfect example of what's great about a Cherko production, and also why this band has just stayed at this top spot that they've kind of inhabited for like 20 years now. They just write cool stuff. All right, let's see what else we got. Extra guitars. So we've got an extra guitar and then two DIs. Won't bother with the DIs. Let's just listen to what sound they intended. Sounds like it's a transition between chorus and intro riff. Something that you might not exactly notice if it was gone, but with it there, it does help to build into that next section. Yeah, it builds up that tension and then releases right on that main riff. Good arrangement, good writing. All right, we have a lot of programming here. Let's check this out. I'll play it all together just at first. challenge here is to bring in these creepy sounds uh, they're cool and they're creepy and they really add their own thing to them you can't have them overpower the rock mix or take away any of the of the drive from the guitars 
and the drums and the bass and the vocals. But without them, a lot of the song's personality would be gone because, you know, riff-wise, it's a very simple song. A, a lot of the color comes through these. I know that that clap isn't left at just one volume. It's a, it builds up. Actually, this is one of my favorite moments in the Nail the Mix section and in this song. The way that this pre-chorus is handled, the way that these effects are used to build up into the chorus is masterful because this is the chorus right here and uh, this is the pre-chorus. opens up right into that money chorus that again the Churcos and Papa Roach are just known for. All right let's look at these vocals. If you know Papa Roach you know that Mr. Jacoby Hicks has quite a uh, unique voice and it's part of what makes him recognizable. It looks like in addition to Jacoby doing a lot of vocals, Kane did a lot of vocals too and it's no uh, you know no secret or anything, that's how it's labeled. It's very, very cool. Let me just say, very, very cool thing about Papa Roach. This is something that I admire about artists that are comfortable with themselves, which I think is something that, you know, in order to make it in the long run, an artist does have to be comfortable with themselves. And it's a big show of comfort to allow the producer to do a bunch of vocals like this. It looks like they're all background vocals and harmonies and stuff, and to take credit for it. That stuff happens all the time, but very insecure bands will not give the producer credit. In this case, it's like, fuck it. Yeah, that's what happened. The song is awesome. The end. Face everything and run. run. The streets crawl with a deadly omen. Outside to see a world that's broken. Yeah, I mean, he already sounds, he just sounds great just like that. Uh, immediately recognizable, immediately there. Well, that's broken, broken. I can't breathe, my heart is choking. Man, Kane's a good singer, too. Check out those harmonies. The omen, outside to see you. Well, that's broken, broken. I can't breathe, my heart is choking. I need a cure for this life I've chosen. My pain is a blessing in disguise. Looks like there's these whisper tracks. Yeah, that go along with uh, the main vocal. Uh, you know when vocals are this well arranged, I could just sit here and get carried away listening to harmonies. Except when vocals are badly arranged, I like get embarrassed in the room by myself listening to bad vocalists. Like I'm embarrassed for them. In this case, it's the exact opposite. I could sit here and just listen to these harmonies and leads just for like five minutes straight, but that wouldn't be an unboxing. And... You can do that too if you get the tracks. My pain is a blessing in disguise. I feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife. My pain, my pain is a blessing in disguise. I feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife. So remember earlier I said that they do a great job with the effects building up this pre-chorus into the chorus. They also do a great job with the background vocals and the vocals. Like it's it's a complete arrangement that gets us to that uh to that chorus i'll play just the vocals and effects my pain is a my pain is a blessing in disguise i feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife my pain my pain is a blessing in disguise i feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife i will face everything and makes a lot more sense when you hear it with all those vocals uh, this time through, when it gets to the chorus, I'll let you hear it with the full instrumentation. You just understand how this arrangement makes sense. Damn, 
My pain is a blessing in disguise I feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife My pain, my pain is a blessing in disguise I feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife I will face everything and rise Never gonna quit until I die Angels keep falling from the sky I'll take your broken wings and learn to fly Just masterful arrangement, masterful songwriting, and masterful production. Uh, let's check out this lo-fi. Why not? <laughs> did you like it? I did. Riot projected when I'm walking through the flames! It doesn't sound that lo-fi. Maybe there's supposed to be a lo-fi effect on it, but this is the scream part. <laughs> So, there you have it. The real danger with this one is that you'll just sit there listening to all the tracks too much. But in reality, you have a lot of tracks here to balance. Um, a lot of them sound really, really cool. So you can get carried away with turning up the wrong elements too loud. You need to remember at all times that this is a heavy rock anthem song. And so it needs to remain powerful, driving, and huge the whole time while still using all these harmonies and effects and background melodies and all that to give it its unique character. This is A.L. Levy with URM Nail the Mix, and this has been the unboxing of November 2016 Nail the Mix with Papa Roach and Kane Cherko. Happy mixing.